Good morning. Welcome to my thought for the day. Today I'm uh, taking a verse out of what has to be one of my all-time favourite psalms, Psalm 37, which is well worth a read through if you get a chance today. It's all about fretting and not worrying. We're not supposed to fret, we're not supposed to worry. It says, fret not yourself. But the verses I'm picked out of these verse three and four, which says, trust in the Lord and do good, so you will dwell in the land and enjoy security. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. And it's a testimony really this morning from me. Those of you who know me and have watched me regularly, you know I'm on holiday this week. I've had a week with my two daughters. And I would say that this week, God has given me the desires of my heart because so many things have happened this week that I have longed for and it's wonderful to see them come into being and uh, the adventure we had yesterday was like the icing on the top of the cake uh, quite unexpected we uh, when we arrived here we found this place and we decided we'd visit it on our last day and we did and we had the most wonderful day yesterday. Um, we didn't know we wanted it, but God knew we wanted it and needed it and gave us such a lovely day. And it's been raining on and off all week. When we looked at the weather forecast before we came, we saw that it would rain most days. So we prayed that it would only rain when we didn't need it to be dry. <laughs> and that's what it did. Almost every time that we came indoors from whatever we were looking at, it rained and then it stopped when we went out and we needed it to be dry. God has been so good to us this week, so to myself and my two girls. And we have seen some wonderful sights, things, I've seen things that I've longed to see for years and have seen them. So the verse before the take delight in the Lord, it says, trust in the Lord and do good so you will dwell in the land and enjoy security. And as we've stayed in this hotel, and we've been at breakfast and at evening meal, there have been one or two people who have needed help carrying their, it was a buffet style thing, so carrying their food down a little flight of stairs, and one or two people have found it really very difficult to do that. And we, we don't find it that easy, but we've been able to help people out. And it's having your eyes open to see if somebody needs help and being ready and willing to offer that help. The little things. You know, our faith is shown very often in the little things that we do or don't do. And it's a privilege to take these verses and see the Lord honouring um, what he says he will honour. As we trust in the Lord and do good, we dwell in the land and endure secure, enjoy security. And as we take delight in the Lord, he gives us the desires of our hearts. And he's done it for me. This week, as we would say in England, in spades, if you don't understand that bridge reference, don't worry about it, but he has done it in abundance in our lives. And he'll do it for you as you take delight in the Lord, as you follow him wholeheartedly, as you keep your eyes open to see opportunities when you can support and help other people around you. Offer them that word of encouragement. Um, see something they need help with and offer the help that they need. So the Lord will give you the desires of your heart. And it goes on to say, commit your way to the Lord, trust in him, and he will act. These things that we've experienced this week have been a long time coming. This holiday was originally going to happen in 2020 as a celebration of my 70th birthday. But COVID intervened. And so four years later, that thing that um, we had planned has now happened. And God has been with us, God has kept us, and God has given us um, what we have wanted. So that is Psalm 37, verses three to five, but the whole psalm is well worth a listen. And uh, I'm going home today, trusting the Lord for journeying mercies as I drive and as my daughters drive back to their homes. And we pick up our normal everyday life. I wish you God's blessing for today and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye.